Good morning, Harrison Central. Today is Friday, November 17th, and I'm Vinny with announcements. The Harrison Central Career Center Crusaders have a community service opportunity for any students that have that are available available to help set up, collect quarters, and clean up at the event on December 3rd. Set, set up is 9 a.m. noon, and the auction is from 12.30 to 3.30, and cleanup is immediately, fo uh, immediately following. If you are interested in helping for part or all of this event, please next text Julie at 740-491-2407. Thank you. Now, I'll send to Harry for lunch and birthdays. Good morning and happy Friday. Today, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Shea Tuttle. Also, over the weekend, we hope Jeremy Malcolm and Skylar McFarland have a happy birthday. For lunch today, we'll be having cheeseburgers, mixed fruit, and pretzels. Now let's send it to Nessa with today's sports. Winter sports are now in full swing with practices and scrimmages taking place. Both the girls and boys basketball teams have been in action and the wrestling and bowling teams are hard at work in practice. One member of our wrestling team is senior standout Lucas Thomas, who is here with us today in the studio. Lucas, you signed your letter of intent to wrestle at Division I Clarion this week. What made you pick Clarion? The coaching staff's always been real supportive and super positive, and just the atmosphere and everything like that up there is, reminds me of home. Okay. You're coming off a state runner-up finish from last year. What has this offseason looked like? Lots of time in the weight room, lots of time in the wrestling room, and especially lots of time at off-season off tournaments and summer tournaments. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about what's got you excited for the whole team this year? There's a bunch of new kids out this year, and they're all picking up everything pretty well. And I'm just super excited to see how we can compete at tournaments and stuff like that. Okay. Thank you, Lucas, and congratulations on signing with Clarence. Now let's take a break and send it to Aubrey, who interviewed Coach Foldy regarding the boys' team. The boys basketball team is coming off of a sectional championship as well as a Buckeye 8 championship, and they're looking to build off of that momentum. Um, definitely just building off the culture and that winning atmosphere. Um, our guys um, took that really well and just built off of that to go into the sectional championship, into the playoff play. Um, so just building off of that winning culture for sure. The strengths of our team is just having a seasonal team, seven seniors this year, seven juniors. Um, our leadership is going to be really important in our effort. I think our, I said it before, our effort, um, how hard we play. I think we can beat teams this year just based on how hard we play. If we can outplay them, um, I think we can win some games this year based on that. The boys team has scrimmages this week, and their first game will be away at Barnesville on December 1st. Now back to Nessa in the studio. The first home game for the boys basketball team is December 12th against Carrollton. Be sure to check out the school's social media posts and website for scheduling updates. Next week, we look forward to bringing you coverage on the bowling team. I'm Nessa with HCTV Sports. Now let's head back to the studio. Yeah, I'm really excited to see the basketball team playing. Um, I have high hopes for this, this team. And now I'll send to Lily for w the weather. Today, the weather shows a high of 60 and a low of 33 with a 100% chance of rain. Fortunately, the rest of the week is forecasted to have low precipitation. The temperatures will remain at a constant though. Through s Saturday, the high is 53 and the low is 30. And to wrap up the weekend, Sunday's forecast is a high of 53 with a low of 30. Now we'll send it to Harry with Healthy Living. It's Harry here, and I'm gonna teach you a helpful exercise to deal with anxiety. It's called 54321 grounding, and you can do this exercise by identifying five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. After doing this, you should feel less stressed. Now I'm going to send it back to the studio. Thank you, Harry. Now we'll send to Sam. This week, Sam had a chance to attend the Chamber of Commerce meeting. Let's check uh, in with him for local news update. 
Although we don't always see it, our geographic area has a lot to offer. Harrison County is home to over 300 businesses from large corporations to small family businesses. Numerous groups in our community help to shine a light on these businesses and the great things happening in our communities. This week we got an up close look at one of these organizations when we attended a coffee and connections meeting at the Harrison, of the Harrison County Chamber of Commerce. We caught up with the executive director of the chamber, Milo Baker, to find out what this group does in the community and how they directly impact the youth of our county. Harrison Chamber of Commerce is a, an organization that helps out and uh, attracting new businesses into the community, uh, benefit uh, on progress, what they uh, can achieve from in the in the county here, and also to uh, to work with other organizations in seeing how we can benefit them, help them out, schools and uh, career centers and things of that nature. The youth uh, can get involved by. Uh, Participating, they, they, we have offered, we're offering scholarships that they can benefit from from the chamber, that will help them in their career goals and their moving forward, and also come and be a part of uh, uh, sharing what the chamber is about. And we participate in, in uh, Coffee Connections once a month uh, uh, here in the in the area, and all of the all the chamber members and organizations are welcome to come and, and take part of that. At each of their monthly connection meetings, a speaker comes to share some happenings in the community. This month, our very own Mr. Dunlap was the guest, spe guest speaker. He spoke about all the technology available within our school facilities, how our school is always looking to improve for the future, and how we can develop partnerships with the local business community. For more information about the Harrison County Chamber of Commerce, please visit their website at harcocommerce.com. This is Sam Sergersano for HCTV. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Sam. Now we're gonna send to Georgia for classroom projects. Hey guys, it's Georgia here, and I'm gonna ask some seniors about their senior project. So Joey, what is your senior project? It, we did a car wash at the Stevenson Center. So how did your car wash go? It went really well. How many people showed up? At least 20 cars. Who did you donate the money to? The Zane Carson Scholarship Fund. Is there anything else you want to add? Just thank you all for coming out and showing your support. Well, thank you so much, Joey. Now let's send it to my other interview with Alex. Hey guys, it's Georgia here, and I'm here with Alex. We're gonna ask her some questions about her senior project. So Alex, what is your sen senior project about? The Charlie Brown Christmas play. How is the project going? It's going really well. All the sixth, seventh, and eighth graders are really putting as much effort as they can into their, like if their crew or cast, they're doing everything they can to like help others and stuff. When is your guys' show dates? Um, December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, but the first is only a performance for the elementary school. So the high schools will not see it at all? Not until the 2nd and 3rd if they decide to come. Okay, okay. Who's all in your project, like your senior group project? Uh, me, you, Gracie, um, Gretchen, uh, Charlie, I think that's about it. Is there anything else you want to add? Not really. <laughs> well, I hope you all come to our shows. Now, thank you so much, Alex. Now let's sit into my other interview with Haley. Hey guys, it's Georgia here, and I'm here with Haley. We're going to ask her some questions about her senior project. So Haley, what is your senior project about? It's about the dog pound, helping the dog feel loved like we do our own animals. Well, is there anything else you want to add? No. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Now, thank you for all the people that I interview. Let's send it back to the studio. Hey, thank you, Georgia. And now for our last program, we have Husky Spotlight with Lily. I'm Lily, and I'm here with Gracie today for our Husky Spotlight. Gracie, what's your favorite class in school? Um, probably art. Yeah, what kind of projects have you done in art this year? The first nine weeks we did portraits, and this nine weeks we're doing pottery. How long did it take you to make the pottery? Probably like three weeks. Yeah, and what kind of materials did you use to make the pottery? Um, so we used sculpting tools to like do designs on them, and then after they dry, we're gonna paint them. 
It's amazing. Is there anything you'd like to add? In the summer, I do softball, and in the winter, I do basketball. It's nice. Okay, that's it for our Husky Spotlight. We'll send it back to the studio. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend, and as always, go Huskies.